MET for the glutes, in particular PIR, post-isometric relaxation. The glutes is a name given to a group of three muscles. The gluteus maximus, the most superficial, the gluteus medius underneath, and the gluteus minimus, which is the deepest of the three muscles. So let's look at the origins and insertions of gluten max, as that's what we're going to target with this MET. It has many fibres in lots of directions, so has lots of actions because of that. It originates on the coccyx, up the edge of sacrum, and across the posterior iliac crest. So like two sides of a square. It then inserts down into the gluteal tuberosity on the femur, the leg, and into the iliotibial tract and IT band. So, with quite a broad attachment on the pelvis into a much more narrow one at the head, it makes sense that there's lots of different actions. So its first action, and one of its main actions, is extension of the hip. But it also gets involved in lateral rotation and also abducts the hip. The lower fibres even adduct the hip. So there's lots and lots to play with when we're looking at range of motion in this group of muscles, in particular the glute max. So how would we stretch this muscle? By bringing the hip into flexion. Also adding some internal rotation and even some adduction of the hip. What I tend to do when testing this is to really bend the knee up and bring the hip into flexion and then just test where it feels the most stuck or where we feel the most restriction. So play around with it, find the direction that's restricted and apply your MET in that direction. Let's take a look. So this is MET for the glutes and hip rotators. And often a place it's hard to get some active range of motion testing in there at times. So it's an area I like to palpate myself. So coming in to flexion, feeling where it's tight. So the different fibres of the various glute muscles and hip rotators and seeing where that client is tight. So definitely quite tight in this direction. So often I'll go straight into an MET here by simply asking my client to press into my shoulder nine eight seven six five four three big deep breath in and relax she's relaxing instantly and i can move slightly deeper into that area getting a nice stretch through that tissue and again kicking into my shoulder nine eight seven six five four three big deep breath in out and relax, lovely. And when she lets go, just moving slightly further into that area. So it's a nice general MET to work through in that area at the posterior hip.